know that if I work, I get. That's what is all it reminds. However, with There's those people who are like, I go to church on Sunday, so I'm saved. I'm good. Right. We're not talking about them. Then we just God hates hypocrisy as much as you and me. Yeah. Right. Yes. I can dress up like a Laker. Doesn't mean they're going to let me inside that dome and play in the playoffs. They're not going to look because I'm not a Laker, even though I might look like one with this physique. Pause for laughter. I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I'm 48 years old, my friend. It's going. It's gone. Right? So I can dress like a Laker, but it doesn't mean I'm a Laker. So somebody can go to church, that doesn't make them a Christian. You go to McDonald's, that doesn't make you a Big Mac. That's the same thing with, with like, you can have someone who's baptized as a yes. child, right? Yes. So they don't really know what's going on. They're baptized as a baby. Right. They grow up in like a, I was crazy for them. So I was baptized as a baby. My dad made me go to church all the time. I didn't want to go. go to church, I'm an altar boy, you know, all this stuff, and then outside of church, I wanted to be a little gangbanger, thug, whatever, try and act hard, and it's just like, that's what I'm talking about, it's like, yeah, I claim, I claim to believe in the word of Jesus Christ, but then I acted like a little jerk outside, and so that's where I say, you know, to believe without the words or faith right. without Judas lasted for three years. How long did he last? I'm sorry? <laughs> Judas lasted for three years and he was a hypocrite. Man. There's good news, Daniel. You don't need to play that hypocrite anymore, my friend. Right? You can you know what you need to do. I you know what's the right? thing? Like I know I've known what I need to do. Yeah. But I'm I'm human and I'm selfish. Yes. God can forgive you. But here's the thing. See, if I don't do it, though, then is God really going to be like, hey, man, I had your back, but you didn't have my back. Yeah, listen, you know? God is not moved whether you believe in him or not believe in him, whether you follow him or not believe to follow him. God is God. He's eternal. He's immutable. He's omniscient. He sits on his throne of truth. He's not moved by riots. He's not moved by the economy. It doesn't matter who is president. He will always be king. Yes. So when we look at this person, Jesus Christ, we realize that the words that he spoke were, were more than just noise in the air. They were recorded for our admonition. And the admonition towards you, my friend, is simply this. Repent and trust in Jesus. Place your faith where the Father placed his wrath. So isn't that in reverse? doing works it's not because i can't just sit on my hands and do nothing yeah i have to repent and i have and to what does repentance mean repentance means giving myself yeah. up to god okay G giving myself up. Up. it's actually a greek word metanoia it means literally to change your mind so what i'm not telling you to do is i'm not telling people that they need to turn from their fornicating from their blasphemy from their stealing from their riots i'm not telling them to turn from that okay I'm telling them to turn to God. Change, wait a minute, let me explain it. I'm telling them, change your mind about where you're placing your help and your hope, which is your current situation and circumstances, and turn to God and live. So giving yourself up to the Lord. And when you do that, Daniel, guess what happens? You are turning your back on fornicating and adultery and rioting and blasphemy. You're turning your back on those things. So. It is impossible to turn your back on fornicating. How do you turn your back on pornography? We love to sin. We love it. But Jesus Christ sets people free. So you cannot, through enough good works, do enough good deeds to no longer hate the things that you are called to hate. And as a Christian, I now love things I once hated, and I hate things that I once loved. But isn't it hard? It's right, right. It's yes. hard to turn your back from things like that. So the that old is, man is dead, but I know where he's buried. Yeah. We're just gonna keep going back. <laughs> Daniel, I love you, bro. I appreciate the conversation. So do I. How old are you gonna be when you die? Who knows? Right. God does. Who knows?
knows? I could have died a month ago. To be honest with you, yes, I could have died a month ago. And you could have died today, that right? Could you could die today. But uh, God was there. How old are you now? 37. 37. Youth is no guarantee of old age. Cemeteries are filled with young people as well as old. I call you youth because I'm 48. See how that works? <laughs> Yesterday I was 6. Today I'm 48. Tomorrow I'll be 74. Today's the day of salvation, Scripture says. In other words, today's the day to prepare for your last day. Because we don't know when that last day is going to come knocking. And when that last day does come knocking, you'll answer that door. All by yourself, my friend. Well, I hope that day comes soon. Because like I told you, man... If I die today, I do not believe I would be saved. Well, I, I, you can have that assurance. So here, let me leave you with this, because I think you're going to think about this. My encouragement to you is very simple. Open up the Bible to see if what I said is true. Cry out to the living God to have mercy on you. There's no playing the hypocrite. God will forgive you. God will cleanse you, not because he sees something lovely in you, but because he is love. Because God is love, he is willing to forgive. Not to be confused with God being all loving, because God is not all loving, but he is love. First John 4, 6. He is a God that is jealous. He cares about right and wrong. And he cares enough about you, my friend. He cares enough about you, my friend, to bring you here, to listen to these words, and to consider... Now, what has been said is true. We can set you free. Fair enough? Fair enough. All right, Daniel. All right, brother. I appreciate it. Hey, Take you it easy, man. Back in and out? Uh, yeah. Catch you, girls. What are you doing here?